I do a silent prayer to Lord Ganpati, it will take some time. Let's thank Lord Ganpati for giving us supreme knowledge of Jyotish. Let us thank Lord Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh and be in gratitude to Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati and Mahakali. Let us thank the Sapta Rishis and all the other Rishis and especially the Rishi. Let us thank all the Gurus of this life and previous lives for we are in gratitude to. I thank each and everybody present. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> there is something about Taurus. If it is very heavily afflicted, a person would get a cut on the face or on the chin. Has anybody observed this in their horoscope? Suppose Taurus yes, sir, I've done, sir. So, suppose Taurus is in fourth house. It can be the relative of the fourth house. So, that is how you use Taurus to see how much is the affliction. Are you understanding? If Taurus is very heavily afflicted, teeth becomes an issue. Dental problems. Calcium problems. Why calcium problems? I've explained it before, but I want you all to answer. So due Not to yet. moon. So due to moon. Bone, fine. Moon, moon, sir. Excellent. Because moon gets exalted here. So before coming to conclusion or prediction, see if there is affliction of the moon. Are you understanding everybody? Not just blindly jump to conclusion. Yes, Taurus is second house of teeth. Second house of face. Just one second. It's a big mark and uh, it's a big, it's still, it's a little indented, right? Even now it's a little in, indented. So it was pretty major. That was in his second year. Hmm. Why did I, you said his Ketu is in the second year, correct? Uh, yes, sorry, sir. In the second house. See, Barack Obama also has Ketu in the second house. Okay. So, second year becomes very important in such a person's life. Okay. Many that years back. A... Ah, okay. Okay. No, that's a pretty deep, uh, it was a pretty deep cut. Because it's left a very big mark also. What's his Lagna? His Lagna is uh, Scorpio, oh. sir. He wouldn't remember, no? second year, what happened to his father or any religious function or ceremony, anything that happened. Some... No, he won't, but he, if he's hurt, when you were two years old, uh, what happened to Baba or... 
anything, any religious ceremony at your place. Or in family, some event happened. No. When did Baba fall sick? No. no, sir, he doesn't remember. Okay. So, many years back, see, this is BCP, Bhrigu Chakra Paddhati. Yes. I'm supposed to teach it at the end of uh, Blanchard course, you know, when we really start that course. And this is like you no know, preparatory kind of course. So, basically, First house is the first year, second house is second year of your life, third house is third year, and so on. And when you finish the twelfth house, when you finish the twelfth house, it will come, the cycle will come again to the first. As everybody understood this, I'm teaching it very fast. If somebody has not understood, raise hand, I will show it via the chart. It's, I should not be teaching it right now. So, first house will become 13th year again. Second house will become 14th year. Third house will be 15th year. So, many years back, somebody at that time, Barack Obama was uh, named for presidential race. So in Sanjay Raj's forum, uh, that was 2005, 6 I don't remember. Okay. Sanjay Raj's forum, somebody posted the chart of Barack Obama. Press chart. Barack Obama has Ketu in the second house. So at that time, nobody knew much about Barack Obama. And uh, I had written there, can anybody mention something about his family life in the second year? Now, obviously, you know, it's very difficult for a man who's 50 or whatever to write something or for internet to have something about the second year of his life, mm -hmm. correct? One person replied one person replied that in the second year of his life you see ketu here second year of his life his mother and father split divorce or divorce has as how it is spelled happened so we could confirm at that time Similarly, such events you have to keep on confirm. Are you understand? Let's assume you don't have planets, blank chart predictions. So you see the sign, and that is the reason I asked for Ruchi Datta's husband. He says, uh, which lagna? Scorpio lagna, right? Yes, sir. So, second house will have Sagittarius. So, some family function. Some religious function. Some religious custom would have happened. And possibility, since Ketu is present over there, possibility of it repeating twice or thrice or not being properly done. Some big nerves. Are you all understanding? Yes. You ask questions to clients. So it can happen in second year, 14th year, 49th year. Are you all understanding? 37th year. Sorry, 38th year. 50th year, not 49, 50th year. Okay. 24, 25, 26th year. So you ask. 20, hmm, 26th year he met me. Yeah, yeah, information. That's a positive event, I guess. 
बहुत बातचीत होते तुम लोगों का टॉक टू मच बहुत ज़्यादा सर ओह टॉक Why? Because Ketu is there. Ketu is invisible. Huh. Ketu is headless. Yeah. So when you will have someone in the family, just ka chara na kam hai, who will talk headless. Uh, if I say Ruchi Datta is headless, so I she is not going to join my course. Husband will say he is so right here. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I am let's not get... because mine is in the ninth house. My Ketu is in the ninth house, so I am to not. Hmm. See, okay. let's get back to Taurus. Okay. The first thing you all need to understand with Taurus, okay, is what in the natural zodiac, okay. In the natural zodiac, it's this house and this house. Venus ruled, correct? So, in the natural, see the base of Jyotish. Please remember, if somebody hasn't told you, you need to understand the base of Jyotish is Kal Purush Kundli. In English, it means what? the natural zodiac of aries so taurus is in second house of wealth family speech money gemstones jewelry and its counterpart libra is where in seven thousand of marriage seven thousand of business partnerships partnership seven thousand of career to understand taurus or venus or libra people omit this from their astro psychology you have to understand these two signs these two houses why taurus gets exalted here sorry venus its lord gets exalted here gets debilitated here so taurus is woman so sixth house matters it will not lie sixth house is sa patni brihat parashara hora shastra chapter 11 shloka number 6 says the other woman sixth house of divorce sixth house of seven sins seven weaknesses so when venus is too much in your chart you are going towards maya you are going towards pleasures you are forgetting this you are going here bed pleasures comforts are you understanding everybody especially the beginners beginners class yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir thing that you need to understand is taurus and libra its counterpart are 6 8 from each other that means what is the secret of married life the secret of married life is who will destroy the death of libra is where here eighth from it na yes sir yes sir eighth is death so 
eat from it is what taurus what is taurus speech what is taurus money husband is always scribbling about money being spent wife is always scribbling about the jewelry she does not get am i right or wrong see lot of ladies are present here for me you are not ladies you are uh, humans okay when you come to my class it doesn't matter whether you are a man woman brahmin hindu christian it truly doesn't matter what matters is sort of silence okay what matters okay i muted everybody you can unmute yourself what matters is whether you are understanding karma my job is to make you understand karma of each and every house only then you can guide the light na jyotish means guiding the light is igniting the light unfortunately today if you go to jyotish okay no light is ignited okay no spirituality is ignited i haven't met a single client who has visited an astrologer come back to me or anybody and said today my spiritual evolution has happened today a light in my life was lighted have you ever heard this so it's all theory work it's all theory work which we love to write in books एक दूसरे को चुना लगाओ जिंदगी भर जनरेशन के लिए चुना लगाओ फूल एवरीबडी ज्योतिष इज लाइटिंग द लैम ज्योतिष इज स्पिरिचुअल साइंस ऑल क्रैप आई एम सॉरी टू यूज अबाउट बुल शेट ऑल ग्रेट एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स राइट गोड अरे वेन आई रीड दैट आई से सला यार द नेक्स्ट टेन जनरेशन को चुना लग गया कई के लिए लगा रहे एवरीबडी फूलिंग एवरीबडी so you need to understand from second house of taurus from second house of taurus which is the house of badha sixth house is badha sixth house is obstacles correct yes sir natural bada natural bada so your family life is affected the children are affected the people staying in your family is affected if your marriage life is bad understood yes sir your marriage life is affected if your complete family life is bad from your eighth your in laws are bad your relatives are bad your family life is uh, your marriage life is affected so understand the qualities of seventh house the qualities of second house are six eight to each other they are not complementary somewhere down the line if your hunger for money is too much it will destroy your relationships it will destroy your marriage life husband is behind taurus money 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 working hard for money day and night sundays till evening late evening what will happen he will be creating death like situation for seventh house understood that's where the problem starts husband concentrating on money ignoring marriage life spouse is responsible for pushing husband for money 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 later spouse realizes he has become so much time oriented energy oriented towards money is ignoring marriage life and then the woman runs around searching for love somewhere are you all understanding yes sir 
so a balance is needed six eight relationship is a very very karmic relationship any house six eight for example first house and sixth house first house is your body sixth house is your disease your health if one is bad it affects the other correct six eight so you have to understand how relationship works now let's go to another technique of taurus <clears throat> when taurus write this down when taurus is afflicted it will bring disgrace so in transit if in natal chart taurus is afflicted and in transit it becomes heavily afflicted especially by rahu it will bring scandals are you all understanding once write this again taurus lord is venus usually we take blood for mars correct but some classics have attributed anemia to venus the lord of taurus isn't it strange yes or no everyone yes yeah. sir yes sir so we have to always learn something new and different when it comes wow. to our classes so please write this sutra down i found this working amazingly well if in any planet if any planet is in the nakshatra of shukra or where venus sits that relative will have low hemoglobin and can feel nauseated due to it chakkar aayega nausea please repeat it if venus or taurus is afflicted then person will have hemoglobin low hemoglobin it can be high hemoglobin also high hemoglobin is more dangerous than low hemoglobin mam kitni der five of these rolls so the flag flary ones sorry and uh, this which one out of these two this or this who speaking so where venus stitch that relative will have hemoglobin problem are can you all test this right now
टुडे अदिति गुप्ता जी इज वेरी क्वाइट हेमोग्लोबिन मेनी पीपल सफर सो यू सी ए प्लानिट सी द नक्षत्र लॉर्ड इज इट इन पूरा फॉल गुनी और एनी शुक्र नक्षत्र double check venus is afflicted or taurus is afflicted why there is one more logic 12th lord of taurus is mangal got it mars is blood taurus is a maraka house for mesh Tatiana, are you able to understand, or am I too fast, or is it too basic for you? Okay, you are muted. But uh, like, it's... yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Just my computer. They have a problem now. Then everything shake. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Been missing classes. I hope you are watching the lectures. Yeah, I am. I am. I just. I try to understand my charge first and my families just for for test some technical skill to show for us. Uh, and I would like to book in with you. Uh, the you told about the bird uh, bird time rectification. I just will drop it one email, see if it's possible, for. For just booking one consultation with you, see if it's possible for doing a bird time rectification. I don't know how I do this, but I would like to to book and see if it's possible. You told you you comment I think today in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You know my bird time rectification. If you're doing a consultation with me, the whole yeah. process takes sometimes just five minutes and sometimes five months. But since you're doing it, I'll quickly tell you. my for me very important is you create an excel sheet right on the left side one column the date on the right side all events that happened in your life and people around you amazing even if a dog barks at you strongly you write that down all right all right okay after that it will take me one one and a half two hours just to check but very important is lot of events of your life especially education profession etc 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 okay it takes it takes a long time long 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 time so it's not something that's going to be over unless one question you answer that is what i call the brahmastra the final technique but many people the mistake they do is they send me the time range for two lagnas mm. they will send it for cancer lagna example cancer lagna also and leo lagna also that i don't do now i don't have the energy maybe later i will do it you know mm. unless it's very simple sometimes the profession can nail it easily you know but it becomes a problem So I had a I had this problem with one chart. Rahu in the fifth house with one lagna, and time changes. Rahu is in the sixth house. The biggest trait of this person was he was an addict. He had lot of addictions, 
especially gambling. Both Rahul in the fifth house and sixth house go shows gambling, shows addictions. Excellent. So then one particular event nailed it down. Are you understanding? So which yes. event is that? I don't know. So if you have a dog, you write, I have a dog. Something or the other will nail it down on this. Yeah. I remember this chart. Ketu in the sixth house. In Lal Kitab, they take Ketu dogs, is what I'm told. I can be wrong. I take Ketu for cats. Um. Rahu for dogs. I have a lot of dogs in my relatives. All of them are dogs. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, <laughs> sorry to say. <laughs> sab ke sab bhedi hai. Anyway. So, you know, hun chuste. Anyway. So, at that time, I used BCP. Her birth time was, it was a German volunteer. Her birth time was a bit up and down. So I just said, sing Ketu, okay? So I just said, what happened in the 30th year regarding a cat? She said, my cat died. That's it, I nailed it. I nailed it. So that confusion that people have, Rahu is dogs or Ketu is cats, etc. BCP solved it. Are you getting it? So many people have cats. Many people have several cats. My aunt used to have 15 cats. My first guru used to daily feed 30 cats. He was a Brahmin, but he used to go to a fish market and daily get fish. He used to not eat non-veg. And everybody used to say, you're a Brahmin, how are you coming here? It's a sin, etc. He used to not have money, but he used to still feed the cats and the dogs every day. He used to not have money. Very poor man. Very poor. But a genius of a person. Absolutely genius. Anyway, we're going to have a break. Hemoglobin, very important. Blood, very important. And I will show you the sutra in Amitabh Bachchan's chart. Because by now, none of you are doing the homework. None of you are creating sutras. My old students, Anuradha, Madhi, Anuradha Sharda, Madhi Kumar, Madhura, and one more person, I should teach them daily, morning, 9 o'clock, blank chart predictions. And what I taught them, I can never teach to anybody. Those days, my memory and my intelligence used to be brilliant. Now I am sick and old and everything. 300, 300 sutras for each lagna they used to create. 300 sutras. They will create, they will create it on PowerPoint with example charts, send it exactly the way I want, the font I want, font size I want. With animation, they used to work hard throughout the day. You guys, if I ask you to make chapati for me, you will order it from restaurant. Anyways, today's students are different. Check it out. Taurus, Venus, blood. You can help save people's life. If you forewarn them, Baba, you're going to have a hemoglobin problem. You're going to have blood flowing in an operation blood will not stop very important save people's lives i'm going to take a break and come back in two minutes thank you
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm muted. तो तुम लोग बोलता नहीं मेरे को तुम लोग मेरा मजाक उड़ाता है ओके ओके रिपीट क्विकली और अदिति गुप्ता से फोर्थ हाउस रिलेटिव हार्ड हीमोग्लोबिन डेफिशिएंसी फोर्थ हाउस स्टोरस दैट्स द जस्ट ऑफ इट ओके नाउ एनी अदर पर्सन टेस्टेड इट nobody else to stick exalted venus will say excellent correct this native has hemoglobin deficiency taurus is in 6th house what did we learn earlier When a Rashi is in six, eight, twelve, or three, those tanas, it will give problem regarding the significations of it. Correct. Venus is exalted in fourth house of breast. This native had problem in bringing milk out for the child, for her child. Of course, these days I hear. Lot of women after childbirth they face problem in breastfeeding. The milk doesn't come up. Okay, anybody who has these kind of problems, okay, they have to pray to Lord Ayappa. The reason is Ayappa drank milk out of a tiger's tigress, okay, or Or in Ayurveda, you get some powders. Mm-hmm. The paste of it has to be applied on the woman's breast, and in within a day or two, milk comes out. Okay, this is okay. something very important. Okay, some people have raised hands. Venus, Tanu Agarwal has written directly. Venus in Scorpio in fourth house. My mother's hemoglobin is low. okay so please create sutra sagittarius lagna if you don't know write it down sagittarius lagna taurus is in second house so that has created that will create hemoglobin problem or blood flow problem during surgeries easy when venus either taurus or its lord venus okay so let's take the case of amitabh bachchan taurus is in second house but the lord of it is in eighth house of chronic diseases Correct, everyone. So we know he had the coolie accident where he was hit, and blood problems in the stomach happened, and he was battling for his life. A very famous incident that shook the nation and united the nation, where everybody prayed for him. Which other lagna, Libra lagna, will have Taurus? in the eighth house so the liberal lagna people need to be careful about hemoglobin and blood flow problem gemini lagna as in my case taurus is in the 12th house you all know my hemoglobin is super high because of polycythemia vera and i always scared in surgeries either clotting happens too much or blood doesn't stop so surgeries are a big no no for me and certain diseases require surgery only three people have raised their hand joseph ruchi datta meera let's start with meera ji
मीरा जी ओके क्विकली लेट्स गो टू जोसेफ टिल मीरा जी करेक्ट कंप्यूटर जोसेफ हाय अनमी जोसेफ oh oh wait the problem is it with me now you all can unmute joseph sir my daughter has low hemoglobin aage she has a uh, venous in second house with six lord uh, son affected with son which is six lord pisces lagna pisces lagna it is with six lord of diseases yes sir it is in mesha yes sir mesha is blood blood where is mars sit mars in fourth house gemini any afflictions to taurus or venus or mars the uh, venus is with six lord sun okay ठीक thanks for it is aries sir ठीक है लेट्स हैव जोसेफ सुनील जी सो आई हैव अनफॉर्चूनेटली एग्जांपल ऑफ गारंटी माय टीचर आई थिंक द फाइनल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस डेट वाज द हेमोग्लोबिन प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट टाइम इन 2013 ही हैज अ वेरी लो हेमोग्लोबिन एंड दैट टाइम आयुर्वेदिक हेल्थ फ्रॉम ब्रिहास्पति त्रिगुणा जी इन 2013 हेल्प हिम and he recover but later on in 2019 when it is again start uh, actually it uh, go to more diverse direction and i think this this was the cause of his death and he has a uh, danulagna brisha by in sixth house and shukra is exalted in fourth house with rahu and shani and also mangal from 11th house aspect in sixth house My request to everybody, Meera Ji, Joseph, and everybody else, in future, if it is possible, because there are a lot of young ones, they are not able to visualize the chart. If possible, instantly do screen sharing. Okay. You know, if if it's possible, then it's easy for people to correlate. All right. Uh, Ritanjali has raised the hand, and after that, I'll come to Richie. the two three charts i um, i saw that this was the problem like i am sagittarius myself and i have this problem like i'm anemic because sixth house sixth uh, house has taurus sign and i know another person who has taurus in the fourth house aquarius lagna and uh, um the venus is sitting in sixth house of uh, diseases uh, with rahu and uh, his mother was anemic she used to have hemoglobin issues and another thing is in another chart i have two more libra lagna charts where eighth house is taurus sign and uh, they had hemoglobin issue so one more thing i would like to point out you said venus is also associated with hemoglobin issues affliction to venus and uh, actually i would like to share one thing so my uh, my mother was a chronic uh, kidney disease patient she was on dialysis before uh, her death and uh, we used to give her injections for hemoglobin because there is a hormone uh, uh, which does not get secreted when kidney stops working because there is something kidney there is some uh, organ in the kidney which secretes that hormone which generates hemoglobin so because of kidney malfunction we we had to give her periodic injection so that her hemoglobin used to till she was anemic when she was on dialysis so venus venus is the karaka for kidney and uh, it has a relationship with hemoglobin so that's what i wanted to share and it's as you said 12th is the sign of mars and mars is blood so uh, it makes sense Thank yeah. you. so you, you know when i learned about venus and an enemy you know i was very shocked because see what we have been traditionally taught is mars is blood moon is flow of blood so mars moon conjunction 
people will have blood pressure problems. Mars moon opposition, if you all don't know, write this down. Mars moon opposition, blood pressure. Silence, please. Okay, I've muted everybody. You all can unmute yourself. This is very important. I don't know why, where the background noise is still coming. So we forget blood pressure problems. We it is so common. Mars moon gets directly associated, indirectly associated. We only look at Rashi chart. You have to look at Varga charts, D6, D45, D60. Okay. And it becomes a problem. Okay. For example, here you see this chart. Moon is in the eighth house. Mars debilitated is in the twelfth house. This person died of multiple organ failures. But the problem is. He could have been saved because of blood pressure. He could have been saved because of an operation. His blood pressure, his BP was not getting stabilized for the operation to happen. So all the money in the world could not save him. And throughout his life, he did not have BP issues. Are you understanding the joke of it? At the age of 80, when he was hospitalized, this issue happened. Are you getting it, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, our job of an astrologer, as an astrologer, is to see these things, and medical astrology is something we ignore. Venus, we know, is urinary tract. Urinary disorders, write this down if you don't know. Then cyst problems in ladies, ovarian problems. Ovarian problems. Sir, do ovarian problems happen because of afflicted venus? Yes. Okay, yes. Sir. I'll show you a chart quickly. Let me change the name. Uh, sir, sorry to interrupt, but can you please repeat the remedy for breastfeeding if there's a problem with that? So, uh, sorry, who's speaking? Sir, Aditi. What is the question? Sir, uh, you, just now you gave a remedy for women who are having problems with breastfeeding their children. Can you no, repeat so that once, please? No. See, that was an exalted Venus. If you want, I can show the chart again. It was an exalted Venus in the fourth house. Okay, sir. Still, because it was the sixth floor, Taurus will come where? Sagittarius Lagna, Taurus will come in sixth house, correct? Yes, sir. Sixth floor in the fourth house. Breast issue, although it is exalted. Who will give you problem? What did I say at the start in three lectures back? Exalted planets or debilitated planets? Exalted. Exalted planets or debilitated planets? Sir, exalted. Both. Exalted planets. Okay. Both. Exalted will give it differently. Debilitated will give it differently. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. When you're exalted, your ego will finish you off. Your ego about knowledge will finish you off, destroy you. 
provided you are ready to accept it. I can take the horoscope of a very famous astrologer and show you. But then it will become a scandal. Jupiter exalted in the 10th house. Ego has finished it off. So much of not. Jupiter debilitated. Again problem. Like in my case. So these, the problem is, Buddhism explains it beautifully. We can't show the chart, then it becomes a problem. Scandal it happens. When people are only waiting for me to make a mistake on video, and then the drama starts on social media. So it's better. So I still remember. Few months back, I was talking about a Vastu, this thing, and uh, that lady uh, does the Vastu of the number one cricketer in last few decades in India. In spite of me saying people should not name that cricketer, because celebrities don't like showing that they are obsessed with astrology, they are obsessed with Vastu. Two, three people, instead of me saying, still they went and said, and it was a live session. Still, they went and said the name of the cricket. The lady herself is not boasting about it. She's my student and great Vastu person and very great human being. Very great. simple. I never found such a balanced human being. Very balanced. Still, people went and talked about it. So then I get upset. Because see, people are here only for gossip and scandals. So then it becomes a problem. Anyway, coming to it is. Buddhism talks about being in the balanced state, the middle path. Why? When you have anything that is not balanced, it creates imbalance. It creates imbalance. Look at Sri Ram's horoscope. Jupiter exalted, Mars exalted in the seventh house. Correct? You all remember Sri Ram's horoscope, right? Yes, yes sir. No? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, yes, sir. Horoscope, you have to buy art. Karka Lagna, Jupiter Moon in the Lagna, Rahu in the sixth house, Shani Vakri in the fourth house, Mars in the seventh house, exalted, Venus in ninth house with Sun, if I remember well. I always get confused over that. And Mercury in the 10th house. So, you are getting it, everybody. Exaltation, debilitation is not required. It creates imbalance. It creates imbalance. People desire exalted planets. I have some exalted in the 11th house. Huge problems. Huge. I have Rahu debilitated, Ketu debilitated. Huge problems. I have Shukra in a Mahapurush yoga. Huge problem. I have Sun exalted in a Mahabhagya yoga. Huge problem. Best is the life of the middle path. Best is a life of obscurity where nobody knows you. You are free to do your karma. When you have exalted planets, 
debilitated planets who have great yogas jyotishis are the only stupid lot who do not understand astrology but say are you are great you have exalted plan the real jyotishi will say my god this man is cursed there's a difference between the astrology that is followed and the astrology that works none of the astrologers have thousand charts of individuals and those individuals complete life story they know are you getting it everybody just give me a second yes sir sir in this horoscope uh, sun is not exalted sun is in pisces is that correct sun has, sir has taken a minute Okay. Because Ram is supposed to be a Surya Vansi, we should give him exalted sun. Actually, Ram uh, has corrected this horoscope. Yeah, yeah. Like it's in the tenth thousand the sun. They established the um, sun in ninth. Not in nine. It's in the ten thousand. I've seen another chart where sun is exalted in the ten thousand. Of Sri Ram. But for being a Surya Vansha, you don't need an exalted sun. No, that's a different issue altogether. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm talking about what I've seen. Like there are two, three more like uh, you know horoscopes going on in the internet. So I don't know which one is correct. This is the correct one, as per the shloka in Ram Charit Manas. This was a confusion in the last. 80 90 years of astrological journalism all kinds of charts of sri ram has come that one particular shloka of ram charitamanas five planets exalted etc etc has created a lot of problem k n rao finally i convinced k n rao the first time i asked him to write on sri ram's horoscope he said sunil not at this age he said sunil not at this age Okay, he then kept on telling me, Sunil, you know, in 1998, I gave lecture for three days on Sri Ram's horoscope continuously from morning till evening. Then few years passed by. I was going to Delhi like a watchman. I have to give secure, you know, hazri to him. Go and meet him. If I don't do that, it becomes a problem, you know. So. Of course, his senior is the grandfather of astrology, so you have to do that and respect him. And of course, I have a different love for him. Okay, we have a different kind of relationship. Okay, so at that time, I convinced him, sir, it's high time. If you don't give the lecture, if you don't solve this problem, then it will be a this thing. So we went and we shot on Sri Ram's horoscope, Sri Krishna's horoscope. He spent more time on Sri Krishna's horoscope. It's obvious because he's a Sri Krishna bhakt. I wanted him to spend more time on Sri Ram's horoscope. It's okay. He has revealed a secret of timing events to the day in Sri Krishna's horoscope. When he did that, you can see that video. I said, "My God, sir, what did you do?" I had kept it hidden. It is not good because some astrologers can misuse that information. Especially when a child is born, and get pujas done when it's not needed. If you know, you understand, you will realize it's a conjunction in Sri Krishna's horoscope of two planets, which are malefics. Anyway, coming to Sri Ram's horoscope, he explained why Sun has to be in Pisces. If it is Navmi Tithi. If you haven't seen that video, please watch it hundred times. It is a golden, see, the best videos on internet. I feel is of K N Rao on Sri Ram's and Sri Krishna's horoscope, especially Sri Ram's horoscope, because that is the first horoscope you are supposed to master when you learn astrology. Mercury in the tenth house. Shows certain free will was done in his karma. 
if you remember the bali episode sugriva bali episode mm -hmm. you know that story where behind the back it was done mars in seventh house manglik dosh we know what happened in his marriage jupiter moon in lagna principles destroyed his life what did i say jupiter exaltation is not desired either ego will destroy you or your principles will destroy you are you all understanding yes sir the karnam says fifth house principles some people take ninth house principles are you getting it everybody yes sir yes sir yes sir principle yes, sir. can destroy you rahu in 6th house rahu is demon it shows ravan it is in sagittarius it shows a brahmin sagittarius is jupiter own sign it's a brahmin rahu gets debilitated a debilitated planet is good in the 6 8 12 houses trikasthanas you don't want debilitated planets in kendras you land up destroying your life your principles will go for a toss remember the chart i showed karakalakna jupiter debilitated in 7th house with mars do you all remember yes. that of the man yes. cheating his parents mm -hmm. so yes mars is property yes, so for property he did anything in the night time he removed his aged parents on the street where will they go night time 2 o'clock in the night jupiter is principles ninth lord of the zodiac jupiter is dharma so when you have a debilitated planet in the seventh house of business you will sell your guru you will sell your guru you will tell people Still, you will go and tell people. Oh no, no, no! You will make people fear. Don't ever. You know what we call double talk. You will cheat your guru for business, for padha prapti, seven thousand padha prapti. That is status. And at the same time, your new students, you will say, "Oh, never teach or never cheat your guru." Fear. You will put fear just to win anything. are you getting it so this is how it functions saturn here is exalted rahu exalted in the 6th house he had a very huge enemy very great enemy the dispositor of fit goes in the lagna 6th house is pending karma wherever 6th lord sits that's where your pending karma is it is in karka karka is throne karka is mother it is with moon he had a pending karma towards his mother from another angle as we see saturn which house saturn sits which sign saturn sits you have pending karma that's the karma you are born it's in fourth house it's retrograde so it was step month it is in libra marriage this is the beauty of it combine planet sign houses planet sign houses combined always ruchi has raised her hand from a very long time she has a great amount of patience rest ruchi datta ji please talk no sir this was more important it's okay i was just saying i had tested the technique but then i went a step further like in my own chart taurus falls in the uh, fourth house so my mother is mother used to have she was very anemic and uh, venus is in the 12th house my grandmother my maternal grandmother was but then i went and i checked for the nakshatra of venus and bharani 
uh, is Rahu, uh, was in, Rahu was in the Bharani Nakshatra and that was in the third house. And then I remember that my sister during her menopause would uh, have bleeding for 20, 25 days at a stretch. It would not stop. It went on for about six months. And then ultimately uh, she had to get a uterus removed. So no medication helped her. So when you said that Venus is ovarian problems, cyst and urinary tract, pretty, that, that is just pretty much true then, sir. Devashri had raised her hand. Has she finished? I'm sorry. She's tired. So she removed no, uh, so <laughs> raising hand, she's removed it. <laughs> she said, no, sir, Suresh, it was like, you know, I just Suresh don't talk. She doesn't allow anybody to talk. No, sir. I, I had just tested the technique and I found something very interesting. In the same family, I have a couple of charts. So, like, you know, in one particular person, the Venus is in the third house and her, uh, her brother has anemic problem. I also tested the technique in her son's chart where, like, you know, uh, Sagittarius Lagna and Venus is in the sixth house. So his mama, the same person, like, I checked and again on another person uh, where Venus is in the 11th house. So the same native, like somebody's younger brother, elder brother and mama. I checked through three different horoscopes for the same person and it came out right, sir. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So please write this down. When Venus is associated with 6, 8, 12 signs or with 6, 8, 12 lords or aspects of these planets, 6, 8, 12 lords or 3rd lord, kidney problems can occur. If it is 8th lord, it is chronic kidney problem. Test it. Test it. Test it. If you have charge of kidney problems, please. Also, Venus can give digestive trouble, diabetes, write this down, usually Jupiter and Jupiter gives diabetes, Jupiter in fourth house gives diabetes, but here Venus is also it. Maybe the logic is diabetes is sugar, Venus is sugar, I don't know. Um, I am aware of somebody recently, sixth house Venus, Scorpio, she was just diagnosed with diabetes day before. And I was wondering why why the, why Jupiter is not involved, Venus is. Now we are talking about it. She is a Gemini ascendant. Quickly, write this down, everybody. Venus gives eye afflictions. Please note, in the Vaman episode, Vaman avatar of Lord Vishnu, remember Venus, I was poked. Understanding? Venus in 6, 8, 12 houses can give that. Shukra child lost his eyes. Venus is blinded by one eye. So one eye affliction. Okay. Quickly, Ajiji said, Sir, I have a chart with chronic kidney problems. I'll check it. Good. So please check right now if you can. Remember, the best astrology is medical astrology. You can help people. So can I say something, please? Sure, sure. So I have Venus in 12th house and I normally did not have any eye problem, but like, you know, last week itself, I went to the, I went with my mother to get her eyes checked. So there suddenly, like I thought of getting myself checked and I figured out, that uh, my eye pressure has really increased and the doctor suggested that you have to get a laser done to decrease the eye pressure. What is eye pressure first time I'm hearing? Is it glaucoma? Sir, so there is this glaucoma. Yes, narrow angle glaucoma I have. So there is this, uh, the fluid in the eyes, there are two chambers. So normally the fluid flows from the posterior chamber to anterior chamber. So that opening is narrow. So if that opening is narrow, the pressure will build up more in the posterior chamber and uh, press against the other surrounding structures. So 
that to open that opening uh, to broaden that they need to do a laser oh my god i also have venus in the 12th house 50 percent of my mabian glands is finished i need to do a simple remedy for it every day i just don't do it it's been there anyway i'm going to quickly take a break and then i'm going to come to a very important technique which will be the last technique of the day we have only 15 minutes for it why because Vinayak's lecture is there for BNN. How many of you from BNN? Oh my God, you don't have to study me. Sir, we did our BNN in the morning. We can hang out. Okay. okay. I'll, so BNN people can go. Venus in 12th, so left eye is weak in my case. See, why am I saying all this? Okay. So because, I have a chat. <laughs> So I have a higher here, higher here, sir. So I have a chart in that uh, this person Ra Rashi chart. It is um, Venus. It's in twelfth house, but in Navam chart, Venus it's in sixth house, and he has kidney problem. Uh, stones keep getting formed, sir. Mm. Very good. Okay, quickly a BSP technique that I wrote about. It's there in my book also. It's there in the magazine also. Fifteen years back, I wrote wherever Venus sits. You will land up spending on medical expenses regarding that house or the sign associated with that house. Check it out. Check it out on charts. People who are aged, check it out on those charts and I'll take my as usual smoking break. All right. Take care. I'll be back.
Okay, guys, there's a problem. I spoke to Vinayak. Everybody there, please put your cameras on. Okay, there's a problem. You know, we have three Zoom accounts, paid accounts. On one, Sarodha Badra Chakra class is going on. And uh, on the other, KK Parashas Prashna class is going on, Tajik Prashna. And here, my extra lecture is there. So I'm infringing on Vinayak's Brigunandi Nadi, this thing. And I don't want to. I've been wanting to teach this particular technique. I have 15 charts, example charts. I thought I'll cover it up in this thing. So we'll do it in the next class, probably Tuesday, uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. It all depends. Uh, tomorrow I have some appointments, how it goes, if further tests are required. I'm going for a second opinion. So we're going to have a break uh, today. And... Uh, very important is to maintain a diary. When we learn astrology, I'll quickly uh, round it off. Another five minutes we have, seven minutes. 8.30 is the BNN class, Bhikkhu Nadi. Very important is to maintain a diary of techniques. There are certain broad techniques. I learned this from a Canadian astrologer, very systematic uh, elderly woman. You know, I asked her, how do you see chart? So she has... I mean, after spending 40 years, 50 years in Jyotir, she has listed down on her computer and in her diary techniques. The same techniques she uses it in all her consultations. So, for example, I said, Venus, where it sits, it will make you have medical expenses regarding that house, that house body parts or the sign body parts. Suppose Venus is in Sagittarius. Okay? So it will mean high area. Suppose Venus is in 12th house. So leg area. Suppose Venus is in Taurus. Eyes. Okay? And also Venus Karakatwa. Kidneys, urinary, uh, this thing and all that. Okay, Like quickly, I wanted to share a chart Okay. Very quickly, at that time I've seen this. Here, see, Venus is retrograde in the seventh house. Correct? Speaking of medical astrology, seventh house is groin area. This is a chart of a lady. Okay. She has multiple cysts, ovarian cysts. Are you all understanding? Hello. Okay, I think I've done the usual thing now. Now you all can unmute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, Venus is in seventh house. Seventh house is groin area. The sign is Leo. So either you ignore the sign because right now the lady is young, so heart issues I do not know. Okay, but at a very young age. Multiple uh, cysts, multiple cysts, and that is, I do not know how or why, that has caused weight problem also, huge weight problem. So, why did you say heart? Because it's Leo. Okay. Of course, Leo is upper stomach. Virgo is lower intestines. Yes. Leo is upper intestines. I do not know where ovary comes, but I presume ovary is lower part of the body. Lower yes, part sir. of the body. Yes, sir. Ovary, uh, I think in my opinion, has to be the eighth, eighth house because it's kind some of people, bad. Some people also take the eighth house. I agree with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, it's fine. The whole point is Venus is retrograde. So, from 7th house, it will go to 6th house. So it will give 6,000 problems also. For retrogression, people take one house before. Okay. Quickly, uh, I'll take one. Arup has raised his hand. Sir, can I say, sir? Sure. Sir, I've got a chart of a woman. Uh, she's a Taurian Lagna and she has Venus in the 6,000 along with Mercury. 
and uh, she has this uh, cyst uh, problem and along with some other complicated uh, like problems uh, those womanish problems like uh, i don't exactly know the names of those but cyst for sure because she came down to calcutta for the to get it operated so so, so venus with mercury in 6th house torin lagna it's in libra right yeah, it's in Libra, sir. Right. Okay, quickly, Aditi. Uh, sir, uh, the techniques that you gave, uh, I tested a couple of them. The first technique was uh, afflicted Venus. So, yes, uh, most of the medical bills that I have uh, incurred are on gynecological issues. And it is also worked on a couple extra charts that I tested. Kidney issues in case of my father, because he has the same Venus placement, Venus in Scorpio. So it works. Chai Devi. Well, so I also have the chart of Lady. Uh, she's Cancer Lagna, and in fifth house, she has Venus. And uh, relating early, with regard to pregnancy, uh, there's a lot of problem, not a lot of problem. She did not conceive at least for five years. And they had spent quite a bit on that scene. Right. Thanks for saying that. Preeti? Sir, I had a feedback. My son is a Taurus Lagna, sir. Uh, when he was born, actually, he was a premature child. And uh, he had we had to give him blood for his survival. And then we had to give him plasma also. And as you said, the body part... Uh, most of the expenses are regarding that. So, yes, we had to do his, uh, he's a cerebral palsy child. So, we had to give him uh, Botox in both his uh, hamstrings, his calves. So, yes, the expenses were on that. And uh, one more thing, sir, like the, for the nakshatra that you said, if Rahu and Ketu are in Venus nakshatra, then what signification will take, sir? Rahu? And Ketu, if they are in Venus Nakshatra, then what significations will take? Like, uh, so same Rahu will behave like Venus. Wherever Rahu is sitting, Ketu, wherever it is sitting, it will behave like Venus. That's a Nakshatra Paddhati. Okay. So then in that case, uh, the ovarian thing, all the issues, uh, I was uh, operated, my ovary was, uh, I had a hysterectomy, sir, five years ago, uh, six Seven years ago, sir, uh, due to multiple cysts and then uh, pregnancy issues and all that, sir. So it's working, sir. Time for us to say goodbye for now. Tanu Agarwal is my best friend. She has 168 techniques noted in her diary. What are you guys doing? All of you are rascals of the highest order. 168 techniques. My friend Dinesh Tambe, who was earlier my student in the daily predictions course, whatever I say, he notes it down. He notes it down. He has created PowerPoints also. He wants to do a course on Sunil John techniques. I said, if you do that, I will fall in trouble. All other astrologers will say, okay, he's trying to create an image. But anyways, Tanu Agarwalji, please be kind enough. To type it out, I find it very difficult to read people's handwriting. My mercury is afflicted, so are my eyes. So I request you to type all this one six eight techniques out, so and then. Uh, what do you type in, my, uh, in Word, Microsoft Word? Sorry, come again, Tanuji. Sir, I already typed it in Microsoft Word. So please email it to me and don't email it to all these rascals. Let them do that hard work. Sure, sir. I will. Sir, we'll marry one technique. You said one girlfriend only. We cannot make extra girlfriends. <laughs> we'll marry only. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you, you only said that, sir. We can't marry one six-eight woman, right? Yeah. So, and yeah. you're talking about 3,600 women. No. They are the sutras for one lagna. Yeah. No. What I said is when you are testing a technique, you have to marry that technique. For that Till night. you master it. Till you master. Then move on to the next. Ha, so then only no, when we'll master one, we'll the whole make process, <laughs> more boyfriends. Don't test it on several charts. Don't test it on several charts. Pretty don't talk like my kid. 
He has excuses for everything. Today's children have excuses for everything. Bad student has excuses for everything. Sir, my computer not working. Sir, my no, wife is... Sir, I sent you the emails. Sir, I was the first one to send you the emails for the Aries Wala thing. So, but don't say now nah, only one technique. Why not one six eight? I also Sir, my laptop is actually not working. My laptop actually broke down. <laughs> I've given it for repairs yes, and to change the screen. <laughs> if you have to write a love letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, okay, or some work with Narendra Modi, you'll go to the neighbor's house or best friend's house and sit on his laptop. Yes or no? You'll do it. Modi has sent you a letter. You have to reply to him in 24 hours. Won't you do it? Imagine I am Narendra Modi yeah, of astrology. No, sir, you are Katrina Kaif. We are happy with that. No, 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 no. Vijay Dinanath Chauhan. Vijay Dinanath Chauhan. Yes, Vijay Dinanath Chauhan. No, sir, Katrina Kaif. Where we are standing, the line is starting, sir. You know, I, I did that mistake once. I was very angry with the Mumbai club uh, people. You know, we give away free techniques over there. I even taught D60 in one, I mean, one session. In 15 minutes, I taught them a two-level course, a six-month course, I taught them. I said, the rest is your intelligence and hard work. And they were so... You know, I love a person. I fall in love. All my students, private students, who I teach free, all of them, so hardworking. You give them a technique in the morning, by evening, you get a PowerPoint. Of course, some student, one particular student is such a rascal. Okay. Last five years of my PowerPoints he has made and he refuses to send it to me. Vinayak knows the name of the person. Finally, I asked Vinayak, I said, you speak to him, send me the techniques, let me earn some money, let me pay my bills. Yeah. Let me do some courses. He's not giving. Today's students, after some time, when they become famous, they feel something different. I know. And of course, I have a problem of being very inorganized. I handle... 10,000 things in life in a day. I mean, I am absolutely supercharged throughout the day. Wake up at 4 o'clock, I do all the housework, everything. I need everything perfect in every corner of my house. I finish so much of whether I'm alive, dead. It's, it's, it's a saying in my family. He will get up from the grave and walk. And it's a very famous thing. I, I never get tired. Okay, even if I'm tired, I'm still always supercharged. So, but my problem is because of so much of work, I'm inorganized, very inorganized. And I'm a Gemini lover. At any given point of time, my mind is working, 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 working. Sometimes I go out for family dinners and I'm just quiet. My wife says, Why are you so upset? He said, I'm not upset, I'm thinking. What do I tell her? I'm thinking I want Sri Ram's shot. Sir, who tells you Sharawa Mooleke Sorry? Sir, who has the courage to tell you Sharawa Mooleke Only one phone. person can. I swear. I <laughs> Only one person can do that. I swear. You know, there should be a movie called Sadaga. In that, uh, there is a very famous dialogue. Ha, Colonel, Sif, ek insan is per rang dal sakta. You know that uh, very famous Dilip Kumar and uh, Raj Kumar, two giants, very famous for their dialogue deliveries, especially Raj Kumar and Dilip Kumar. You know, so they, it's an old movie of Subhash Gai. You guys might not not even seen it. Probably you were very young, Aditi, when this movie was released. Very famous one. Yeah, so that yeah, when they made that I... movie, everybody was stunned. Two people who hate each other. Yes. Zero enemies of each other. Dilip Kumar, Raj Kumar, legendary figures. You know. I haven't seen it, sir. So they, he, how they achieved it. Anyway, coming back to it, Tanuji, please email it to me. And Tripa okay, Karke, ye, 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 ye lazy logo ko dena ne. Okay. So I, I noticed, not... you know what I do, what I do, like I give absolutely gem of techniques free of charge. Because that makes me guilt free. So in Mumbai club, I should give very this thing. So one day I got very upset. Some 
he had treated me very badly from the Mumbai club. And in that video, we released it many years back, uh, which uh, Ruchi says, I said it with a lot of ego. Why? I have lived my whole life on Vada Pav or Sambosa. I didn't have money. I built Saptarishi's astrology out of that. I carried huge boxes on my back. Eventually, I developed tendinitis, which for 12 years, I could not lift even one liter, one liter of water bottle without having pain. But still, I would do all the housework. Still, I would go to big bazaar, buy everything, get this, that, etc. Finally, my tendinitis is over. It took a long time. So, I was very angry with the person who had treated me. If somebody cheats you after you give so much by putting your family aside, by not giving them uh, that luxury that they need or they deserve. At that time I said, Jaha main khada hota hu, se <laughs> So anyway, sir, uh, one thing is, uh, sir, Sir, do you still remember those techniques that you taught around 10, 12 years ago? Uh, like you used to point out the problem, you used to, you know, tell the details and you used to give the remedy at the same time. And simple okay. remedies, uh, tie, uh, touch the feet of your wife, mom, uh, simple remedies. Uh, I, 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 so I am like, we are all very, you know, unlucky for this fact that you don't remember those techniques anymore. So many, most of the techniques in my book, even in my Nakshatra book, part one, part I, I two. have that, sir. But you know, those uh, things, I don't remember. what I said. Yeah. Nakshatras I have completely forgotten. Every, even now, recently, few months back, I told Lavanya, let's uh, do Nakshatra course. After three or four months, I have found the PPTs, old PPTs that I have created. I created them for Arjun Pai. And I saw the PPTs. I found myself completely blank. Nakshatras, that hatred for Nakshatras after being cheated so badly, I developed the word Nakshatra means I hate. Hate it from the bottom of my heart. But there is something that you learn is in life you have to forgive and forget. You have to forgive and forget. That's something you learn. You can be angry for some time. You can be angry for some time. Okay. People have desires. They come, they fool you. They tell you, I will never make it. Because what I teach to a commercial astrologer is something else. What I teach to somebody who swears to me that he will use astrology free to help people is something else. That's a huge difference. I can't go against my parampara of what my master taught me. He said, this is for others. This is for people who serve people. Because he used to have a darbar. He used to have a darbar where people used to sit, come with their problems and he used to never charge. I will never. Right from childhood, I have been like that. These sciences are to help people. These are mystical sciences. You can only function with the blessings of, of your guru and the blessings of devtas. And that is the reason Ishta Devta prayer is a must in Jyotish. That is the reason even B.V. Raman and so many others have written, you have to take one devta and do mantra siddhi of it. I personally don't believe that. Although that's a must. To protect yourself against the negativities of the child. Because you're solving curses in a child. You're solving black magic in a child. You are solving people with spirits. So when you... Kichad ko English mein kya bolta hai? What do you call Kichad in English? Mud. Mud. Sir, mud. mud. Wet mud. Dirt. Muck. Or muck. Dirt. Sir, muck. 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 So you are putting your hand in that. You remove it out. You, your hands will be dirty. The only thing you can do is wear gloves, which is protection, which is your mantra. I believe in great Western astrologers who can predict events to the date. 
and they don't use any mantra siddhi to get wax in. They are far bigger than us. Far bigger than us. They don't have the tradition of Indian astrology. They don't have yogas. Yet they make brilliant predictions. Absolutely brilliant predictions to the date. Many people say oh, Western astrology, if you read astrological magazines, they'll say Western astrology is useless, this, that. So many people have written against it, including some Star Wars. Right? We don't know. We don't know their predictive powers. I always say experience is far bigger. You can't have opinion on, you know, many people look at film stars. Oh, he's a womanizer. Oh, he, she, she has had so many affairs, you know. Why? You don't know that person's chart. You don't know that person's inner self. Why pass judgments and comments? Some of the, my relatives, they look at a woman and say, oh, she's pathetic looking. Are, why? Do you know her? Why are you judging somebody by her beauty? It's so wrong. You judge a person from his heart. And I tell them, you are supporting your best friends. All of them are such pathetic human beings. And yet you keep friendship with them. It is like when I get to know somebody is learning Jyotish from so-and-so person, I feel bad and sad. I said, they know such a person is such a bad person, yet you are learning. For techniques, you are prostituting your principles for techniques. Techniques to koi bhi sikha dega. Anybody can teach techniques. Teaching karma correction is what is the need of the art. All right, time for me to go. 8.30 class of Vinayak. He must be upset. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so, so. Thank you, sir. Tanu Agarwal is going to email those 168 to me right now. Yes or no, ma'am? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. If any of these rascals me? contact yeah. you, if any of these rascals contact you, you say, you say I don't speak to lazy people. All right. <laughs> Shalia, adios, amigo. Thank you. Sir, I want you to say something. Good night, sir. Sorry. So next class will be on Tuesday. Next class Tuesday, 8 p.m. If everything goes well. From now on, okay. there is a super publication. I said it in the morning. It will be there. If I don't come within 20 minutes, Nitesh would send an email out. So always keep on checking your emails. All right. Okay. Okay. There is a super complication, so I have to run here, there, wherever. Actually, complication I did not end. We it. really hope that you get well soon. I... Sir, please, sir, uh, I have something to say. Yeah, quickly. Sir, sorry, sir, I'm disturbing you. But, sir, I sent you a message, sir. I couldn't reach you through any you know, other way. So, I sent you a message on Facebook, sir. I rarely see Facebook better. And especially if it's a direct message. It's only office which handles it. So very, I, I live emergency. very secluded life. If it's an astrological emergency, you must contact professional astrologers. Okay. I never learned astrology of the mundane world. No, sir. It's not about that. It was, it was a medical emergency for a friend. I, I am not a medical astrologer. I am not a medical astrologer and more than a medical astrologer, if it's a medical emergency, beta, you need to consult doctors. Trust me. Trust me. Sir, done that, sir. That's why, sir, I wanted to, you know, so it was a last option. That's why. I, just I am telling you, I'm telling you, you have no idea how many astrologers I know. I have tested them in cases of emergencies. My only job in the last 15 years was... People used to contact me throughout the day. I used to be a telephone directory. Silence, please. And I used to pass on people to other astrologers. I realized, I realized astrology. Everybody who's been astrology have realized somewhere down the line, astrology that we know of today is not perfect. 
is not perfect at all so don't take hardcore decisions of life based on astrology i gave you the example of today morning somebody consulted the world a top most astrologer in delhi top most yeah. astrologer world famous he is very popular in india people read his books and learn astrology 50 classics yeah. astrology. that man his family became zero balance bank balance because i directed him to some astrologer i stopped all of my very good friends used to handle my cow projects today morning he asked me for a numerologist number yes. i like said i don't know i stopped venus my venus is in the 12th house i stopped giving advice directly or indirectly i can't bear so much of karma sorry sir but yeah i i, I understand so it was a very big event medical best is doctors best is sir done that sir done that that's why I, as a last resort i got best medical astrologer i said in the, in the morning i asked my friend to consult him he consulted within 3 weeks or 2 weeks rather he has cancer and that medical astrologer could not see another guy he writes on facebook as if he is god almighty very <laughs> high on principles but he has written books on medical astrology and as a friend of mine consulted him last month he wrote a list of 25 diseases Yes, but the main disease he did not even touch. It happens, sir. People adura gyan. It happens. Adura gyan. Knowledge we have is incomplete, and as Kendra has written in his book, unless and until we learn how to decode Nadi Amsa, which is impossible, it's never going to happen. Yes. Nobody can decode Nadi Amsa. Although book is published by R. Santanam, Chandra Kala Nadi. Okay, mm -hmm. we will never learn astrology. Kendra, be honest in that. True. So let's understand. We are dealing with a science that we ourselves in our previous lives did not preserve. Mm -hmm. We never made the effort of getting things translated. One. Huh. Even now, I have a project of Sanskrit. We translated so many manuscripts. We gave it out to the world. Mm -hmm. In fifteen years, I met only five people. You ask them to translate, forget Sanskrit from Hindi to English. Nobody does it. Five people have come forward. We are not interested in disseminating knowledge. No, that's what Aparishi's astrology did. I'm sorry to say, with pride and ego, you may feel no organization, no, no, no. not even a single organization has done. Oh, sir, that is true. When I restarted the magazine, Charak Sahab said, "You only concentrate on what you are famous for." and what effort yeah. you did that is bringing out rare stuff we have restarted it we want somebody to help in hindi to english i know nobody will come forward nobody has time to give away knowledge so only i have a bad chart you will do it some people do it for a year or two and then they disappear yes, sir. some people do it for a month or two and they disappear so leave That's astrology true. my only advice to beginners is astrology is not for Grass ashram people, people who have family life, it is not for them. That's it. I say leave it. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I have taken twenty minutes sir. of the time. Many people are waiting out over there. I must do it and say sorry to them. Thank you, sir. Thank have a good day. See you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Anu Agarwal, my best friend. You are going to email it to me and see to it you don't email all these people. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.